Hey guys, Miss Peterson here, and this is a Physics in the Universe lecture on motion graphs. So we're going to be going over how to analyze both position time graphs and velocity time graphs. So let's go ahead and start with the position time graph. Okay, so the hardest thing when analyzing graphs is that we will have to switch our brain when we're analyzing position graphs versus velocity graphs. So the way that I like to read the graphs is to always just think of it in terms of what that y-axis is and what it's doing. So let's kind of just generally read through this graph. So we have, okay, from 0 to 10 seconds, okay, its position is constantly increasing. Okay, at 5 seconds, it's at about 7.5 meters. At 10 seconds, it's at about 15 meters. And it's has a pretty consistent or constant slope. Then, okay, the position at 10 seconds is at 15 meters, and the position at 12 seconds is at 15 meters, and at 15 seconds, it's at 15 meters. So, how would you describe that motion there? And then we see it start to go back down and then curve slightly at the end. So, we are going to analyze this graph section by section. Starting with, let's go ahead and label them, okay? We want to label by the like segments of the graph and what the graph is doing. So I'm going to call this first 10 segments, section 1, this section, section 2 from 10 to 15 seconds, and then it looks like from section 15 to 20 is a pretty straight line. And then only 20 to 25 is where we get that curve. So I'm going to call that section 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and analyze this out. Okay, starting with section 1. Okay, from 0 to 10 seconds. So as we talked about before, we can see that the slope is constant, a.k.a. the change in position over time is constant, okay? Wait, change in position. So if we were to calculate the slope here, okay, for example, like for this line, slope we know is rise over run, okay? The rise will be that change in your position, okay? So that will be the change in position, and then the run is, of course, the time. So our slope is the change in position over time. What's another word for that? For how fast or how much time it takes one to change its position? It is the velocity, okay? Whenever we are working with position time graphs, the slope is the velocity, okay? The change in position over time. Okay. So let's go ahead and find the slope during that first chunk. Okay. From zero to 10 seconds. Well, the slope is going to be the velocity. Okay. Velocity, aka the slope, is going to be the rise, aka the change in position. Rise, a.k.a. change in position, over the run, a.k.a. the time. So in that time, if I want to go ahead, I'll just use the full triangle here. It moves at 15 meters in 10 seconds. So it's going at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. Okay. So if we wanted to summarize, from 0 to 10, the object moves... Oops, I'm going to make that a little skinnier. Okay, so from 0 to 10 seconds, the object moves 15 meters at a rate of 1.5 meters per second. Okay, that's what's going on in the first 10 seconds. Okay, cool. Okay, what about the second 10 second or the second chunk from 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. Well, from 10 to 15, we see that the position is constant. If your position is constant, how would you describe that motion? 
you're not moving, okay? So you can either say not moving or at rest or constant position. Any of those would be fine. Not moving at the 15 meter mark. So it's 15 meters away from whatever we marked as that position zero, it's starting point, and it is not moving at that 15 meter mark. So the slope, AKA the velocity, is zero, okay? And that makes sense. If you look at that graph, the slope of it is zero. It's flat. So the car's not moving. Moving on to the third chunk, okay, from 15 to 20 seconds. So now it's going back, okay? It's going from 15 to negative 4 or to 14, 13, 12, 10, okay, all the way back to 5 meters away from its starting position. Its slope is negative, which means the velocity is negative, which means it's going in the opposite direction, okay? So it's going back toward its starting point. So, and it's moving from 15 to 10. So it moves 10 meters back towards starting point. And let's go ahead and calculate the slope, AKA the velocity, okay? So it is down, so we're actually going to have negative 10 meters over that five seconds. So negative two meters per second, okay? And again, remember the negative sign, all that means is the direction, okay? Negative sign just means the direction on the velocity, which makes sense, okay? Its position was going away from its starting point toward that 15 meters, and then it's going back toward the five meter mark. So the toy must be going in the opposite direction, okay? So it's moving 10 meters back toward a starting point at a speed of two meters per second, okay? And last but not least, the curvy part, okay? So here, let's think about what's going on here. It, oops, undo, okay? It starts off at like the same slope as three. But then it starts curving until it gets kind of flat, okay? So if the slope is the velocity and the slope itself is changing and getting flatter, what does that say about the motion of the object? It's slowing down, okay? Whenever you have a curve on a position time graph, that means the object is accelerating. Remember, acceleration in physics can be slowing up slowing down, speeding up, or changing direction. Any change to the velocity, we call it acceleration. In this particular one, okay, from, oops, wrong color, from 20 to 25 seconds, okay, that slope is getting lower. So it's slowing down as it approaches its starting position. So it's slowing down as it approaches where it started as it approaches its starting point, which we had set at that zero meter mark, okay? It's a curve, so note any time you have a curve, that means you do not have constant velocity. That means you have acceleration, AKA a change in your velocity. Okay, cool. And that's how we analyze the position graph. Okay, the slope of it is the velocity, and then it's just reading it off. Okay, we can tell what direction it's moving, how far it moves, its speed, all of that. Now, we're gonna switch our brains. So I want you to and switch your brains over, because we are going to talk about velocity time graphs. Okay, so, here is a velocity time graph for a different scenario. Now, one of the hardest skills in analyzing motion graphs is determining whether to analyze it as a position time graph or a velocity time graph, because they have different sets of rules to them and how we interpret them, okay? So let's go ahead and segment this graph off and start to go through the analysis. So I'm just segmenting it off by like sections of the graph, okay? 
we have that four. And then I'm going to put a little star right here because when it crosses that x-axis, that zero velocity, something important happens. Okay. So let's go ahead and start going through it. Yep. Again, the best way to read these graphs is to read it from that y-axis. So at zero seconds, its velocity is zero meters per second. At one second, its velocity is zero meters per second. At five seconds, its velocity is zero meters per second. So is the object moving if its speed is zero? No. Okay, so during this one, okay, it is not moving. It's at a constant velocity of zero. Okay, not moving. The velocity equals zero. Zero. Yep. So that one's pretty straightforward. Let's do a slightly uh, uh, more complicated section where it's actually doing something. So we have from five to ten seconds. So let's think about what this motion is describing. At five seconds, it's going zero meters per second. Uh, six seconds is about here. Okay, it's going a little faster. Okay, at about seven and a half seconds, it's going five meters per second. At about like eight seconds, maybe it's going like seven and a half. And then by 10 seconds, it's going at 10 meters per second. Okay, so it went from zero meters per second to 10 meters per second. What would you call that? Okay, you can call it speeding up. Okay, its velocity is increasing. So its velocity increases. The object speeds up in the positive direction. It's a positive velocity, so it's going in the positive direction. Okay but it's increasing, it's speeding up. So one of the things that we always do for a graph is we talk about the slope. So let's think about what the slope of this graph would be. So the slope is of course the rise over the run. So in this one, our rise, it's not a change in position, it's a change in velocity. So triangle means change in math and physics world. So change in velocity over the run is time. So change in velocity over time, what is that? That is the definition of acceleration. Okay, acceleration is how fast your velocity is changing. So the acceleration, aka the slope, and let's go ahead and write that at the top too. The slope equals the acceleration. Yep. So uh, the slope is the acceleration, and we have the rise, a.k.a. the change in velocity, over the run, a.k.a. the time. So the rise is 10 meters per second. Okay, it goes from 0 to 10 meters per second in 5 seconds. So it is accelerating at a rate of 2 meters per second per second. So we write that as 2 meters per second squared. Speeding up by 2 meters per second every second. Yep. Okay, cool. So that brings us to chunk three. Okay. In chunk three, from 10 to 15 seconds, okay, it's a flat line again. Okay. But it's not a constant position. It's not at rest like it was in the position time graph in part two. Okay. Rather, it's still constant something but it's constant velocity, okay? At 10 seconds, its velocity is 10 meters per second. At 12 seconds, at 11 and 12 and 15 seconds, it's still 10 meters per second. So it is moving with a constant velocity. And that constant velocity is 10 meters per second, okay? There's no slope. There is no change in the velocity because, you know, it's constant. So constant velocity means no acceleration. Okay, acceleration equals zero. Okay. And last but not least, chunk four. Okay. So this one is going to be a little funky. Let's talk about what's going on here. Okay. First, let's just read that graph. Okay, at 15 seconds, it's going 10 meters per second. And then the, velo the velocity starts decreasing or going down. Okay, until it hits zero. But then the velocity goes negative. What does that positive versus negative mean in terms of the velocity? And if you were going at that constant slowdown, 
Okay, what would happen that would cause it to go negative or go through zero? Okay, the object changed direction. Okay, so here we see a constant acceleration. That's a constant force. Okay, there's something constantly pushing it and trying to stop it. But it is slowing it down by the same amount every second until it gets to zero. But that acceleration caused by some force keeps happening. So now it starts speeding up, but in the opposite direction. Okay, it goes from zero to negative one meter per second, negative two meters per second, to negative five meters per second. So it's speeding up in the opposite direction. Okay, let's go ahead and summarize that. So it slows down. And then at approximately 22 seconds is what it looks like to me. Okay, it changes direction. And starts speeding up in the opposite direction. Okay, and now you might be thinking, well, what kind of motion is that? What kind of motion, like, slows down and then starts speeding up in the other direction? Okay, you can think of throwing a ball up. Okay, gravity causes it to slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, until it hits the very top, changes direction and starts falling and speeds up, speeds up, speeds up. You could also think just rolling a ball up a ramp. Okay, if we had a ramp, the ball would roll up the ramp and slow down until at some point it runs out of energy and turns around and starts speeding up in the opposite direction. Okay, all of that's due to a constant acceleration, a constant slope, which for this one, we can find it on the whole thing. Okay, we would have the final position, negative five, minus the initial position, or sorry, initial velocity. So the change in the velocity or the rise is at negative 15 meters per second. Okay, and it does that in a time of 10 seconds. So it's accelerating at a rate of negative 1.5 meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. Okay, and that acceleration is constant. But when the velocity is positive, if you have a positive velocity, but a negative acceleration, you're going to be slowing down, positive velocity, negative acceleration. Where here, you're going to be speeding up. You have that negative velocity and negative acceleration. Okay. And that's how we analyze motion graphs. Okay, cool. Okay, cool.